Hi, I'm Rod Hainline, and I'm the Chief Programs and Services Officer here at Leader Dogs for the Blind, and I'd like to welcome you to Leader Dogs for the Blind. <laughs> Uh, here at Leader Dogs for the Blind, we service people from all over the world. And we're about a lot more than just guide dogs. We service people with uh, long canes and teach them how to travel in the environments using a cane. We also teach people how to use a GPS uh, as well as a guide dog. We also have a kids summer camp here where we teach kids about leadership and travel and how to uh, be effective in their everyday life as a, as a kid who's blind or visually impaired uh, out there in an environment that isn't always uh, friendly to, to that impairment. We have people here who uh, love the dogs and they're crazy about the dogs and we have uh, folks who are, are puppy raisers and that host our breeding stock dogs. We have our instructors and then we have all the support structure that goes around all of that to make all of this happen and produce the best leader dog we possibly can produce. The uh, um, other side of that is the people side of it and we're really a people business that provides guide dogs. So Leader Dogs started in 1939, so this is our 75th year of existence uh, and we are part of the fabric of the Rochester Hills community. Uh, we started in a farmhouse with five or six kennels and an apple orchard. So right here from Rochester Hills, Michigan, we service clients in Spain, uh, in South America, Central America, Mexico, Canada. We have an international reach. Well, we're very excited about our current uh, Canine Development Center. It's, it's really been a, a long time coming. We've been working at this for a number of years to uh, get all of our dogs in a row, so to speak, so that we could build a, a Canine Development Center that's truly state-of-the-art and, and works so that we can provide our clients with the best possible guide dog uh, that we can. I think it's important that everybody knows that Leader Dogs for the Blind functions 100% on uh, donated funds. We receive no government money, uh, no United Way money. It's all donated. And it takes that passion of that donor and the passion of the volunteers that we have. And they come here for one reason, to, to provide service and to, and to uh, do something good for uh, people other than themselves or those immediately around them. And um, that's really what makes us such a great organization is the people that come here and give of their time and the donors that, that give of their resources. Uh, that's what makes us what we are today.